Okay, first tip, I'm going to use this image. We're going to find the local contrast module. We're going to activate it. But now if we are changing these settings, everything will be affected. And this is already so bright that it will just ruin the image. So right now we need a mask. I'm going to use a brush. I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger by scrolling it away from me. I'm going to paint over this image area and it's just for the sake of this tutorial if you want to know what the mask is click this symbol and like i said if we are going to adjust this now the mask will be adjusted but i want everything to be adjusted except for this part so i'm going to invert it there you go this looks horrible feather it blur it out make it a little bit less strong let's see a before and an after much much better on to tip number two we're going to use this image again. This horizon isn't level. All we need to do in this new version of Darktable is just click the right mouse button, drag a line over the horizon, release it, and it will fix itself. Ain't that pretty? For the next tip, I'm going to use a different photo, one from Nacho. Oh, hang on, the previous one. There we go. Where is he? Here is he. And I want to see what is in focus here and what isn't. And for that, we're going to toggle focus speaking mode by clicking this symbol right here or clicking shift control F. Now we see the forefront being in focus and his nose being in focus. And these colors that you see resemble the focus in the image. If you want to learn what these colors are, please go to the manual. And the final tip I want to give you all, let me deselect this one, is to work with presets when it comes to modules. And for that, you can use these three stripes over here, presets, and you can click the one you want. So you can use modules all that will give you access to all the modules that there are in Darktable. Or if you work with a scene referred workflow, you can click that one and that will only activate the modules that have to do with the scene referred workflow, which is actually the preferred workflow from the developers of Darktable. And another thing you can do is go to the manage presets and then you can create your own one. And if you want to know how, click this video that will pop up over here.